Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, we're down here in the mines in just about the least cheery place in the universe. If there is an emotional opposite to Disney World, it's here. Because I should be looking around for sparkles, huh? Thank you, Barry. What's with a lamp? I mean, why is that what? Where the hell did that piece come from? None of the pieces are actually missing. Weird. Confirmed, not jam. Nice place to set up house. It's like a movie. I wish I could live here. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I've had my fill of mansions. I don't like that Natalia likes this place, because that suggests that something else is influencing her. Something that, say, could use this place as a home. Yoink! Oh, lovely. This is going to be amazing. I discovered a conundrum. Uh, there's two... In addition to the four uh, chapters, you know, which they put out one at a time, they put out two extra chapters. You know, DLC. I mentioned them before. One is called Little Miss, and one is called The Struggle. And I mention this because I have realized today that I have no idea which one I'm supposed to play first. I don't like that. Again, I don't know anything about them except the names. Uh, oh, and that they both... Yeah, and that Steam says they both came out on uh, March 17th, 2015. Yeah, I looked at it just today. So that's not very helpful at all. Oh, uh, shout out to Yornick, who informed me that the, uh... The caution signs around that, like, gondola bridge, you know, the one I used as a thumbnail a few videos back, uh, it says in big letters... Uh, you know, just watch your step. Or more literally, look under your feet. But I guess that's, you know, basically the same thing in Russian. Is that a... I, don't, I can't tell where that is. Oh, wait, fuck. Yeah, turn off the light. Uh, head, okay. Oh! Oh, right, yeah, that... Uh, she startled me. Research Facility Chief's Journal 1. Developing the T. Phobos virus turned out to be my lucky break. The other researchers didn't see any merit in it. A virus that triggers upon the subject feeling fear? Reacts to nore norepinephrine? That's useless, they said. Fortunately for me, Alex didn't think so. 
After reading my report on the virus, she became very interested in its unique properties and made me the head of the research team. As we neared its completion, she then made me the chief researcher. Alex appreciates my genius. It's an honor to work for her. T Phobos. What was she trying to accomplish? Do you still feel honored to work for her? Fuck me, I'm jumping at literal shadows. I thought I saw someone walking by this window. Like a revenant. Okay, that makes a bit more sense than usual, just placing one bullet on the shelf. You know, as opposed to a goddamn priceless diamond. What am I doing? You can't see the sparkles, only you can. There's a brick way down there. This place just keeps going. Look at this place! How can it not have any shinies? I don't like that painting. When I live here, I'm going to burn it down. Oh, yes, of course. I got completely disoriented there. I thought that dresser was where the door was supposed to be. Wait, what? No, oh, this isn't a door. It's got, like, this, you know, paneling on it that made me think it was a door. Oh, okay, I'm sure that's no problem. Why aren't you a zombie, though? Surely if the revenants fed on you, your body would have been infected with T-Phobos and you'd have turned into a, uh... Monster. They haven't fed on you at all. In fact, it looks like you've been feeding on things. Unless that is his blood and he's, like, eaten his own lips. I didn't pay that close attention. I think it's in the thighs. This is gonna be a weird and kind of, you know, deep cut. But what these guys kind of remind me of is, uh... Oh jeez, here we go. Lord Zed's putties from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Where, uh, you know, the putties are just the generic goons that show up and get slapped around by the Power Rangers before the monster shows up. You know, the monster of the week. Uh... You know, the first villain of the series, Rita Repulsa, had her putties, and that was their job. Get, get their asses kicked before the, uh, the, the monster shows up. Except in the first episode, when they were presented as a, an actual threat. Um... And then they introduced the second villain of the series, Lord Zed. Which, much to my surprise as a Canadian, uh, was spelled with more than one letter. Um... Shit, one of the feet. Uh... Oh, fucking door. And, uh... Oh, you know, it's like I've got this new advanced putty formula. And they come out and they're stronger and tougher and they do way more damage. And the Power Rangers seem helpless uh, against them until they realize that if you punch them in the like Z logo right in the center of their chest, it makes their heads, arms, and legs fly off. <laughs> Don't worry, they're just made of clay. That's why they're called putties. But um, <laughs> I remember thinking that was just the silliest thing in the world. Or they're presented as these like tougher versions, and yeah, they hit harder and can take more of a punch. But they have a make-me-die-right-here weak point. So yeah, the Revenants are technically more dangerous than the, uh, the Afflicted. But once you know the trick... You, you know, you don't need, the, the, the combat music doesn't even have time to kick in. I wonder if you could catch T-Phobos by inhaling really deeply of the, uh mess that comes out of them when they die. Did 
thought Barry's flashlight was supposed to follow my gaze. Huh, we even have toilet paper stacked up there. Any more in here? No. Any red spots on the walls? No. Good. Uh, that's broken glass. Maybe the guy wearing gloves should do this. Dad senses kicking in. Hey, as someone who's cut his hand wide open on uh, broken glass, it isn't fun, let me tell you. The fuck? Someone punched a hole right into the wall. Well, whoever that was, uh, I don't think Wesker liked him very much. I really hate how dark it is here. I can't remember if I've mentioned it to you guys before. I meant to, but I don't think I did. That my uh, good friend Ronan Drake confided in me that as soon as he found out that uh, the Barry sections were six months in the future, he was waiting for Claire to show up as a monster. This would be a great place to, you know, face the horrifying remnants of your friend. I'm just saying, this level. Like, not maybe, maybe not that room, but... Why are there so... Okay, there aren't a few lights, they're just... Most of them aren't on. Just see how I didn't even slow down? No, well, I'm trying to wreck her personal uh, belongings. Yeah, Natalia could squeeze through there. Which tells me this house is not made with children in mind. Or this home, rather, since, uh, you know, it's underground in a fucking mine. <coughs> Stupid fake boxes! They're only painted on. Make them out of metal if you don't want me to... What is that sound? I hate that sound. So there's one panel on the wall. Okay. Well. It's water. It's just running water. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, things get quieter when you crouch. Especially as Natalia. Oh, yeah, I guess that, you know, does make sense. Yeah, I'll pass. I mean, you know, Barry is filthy and all, but... Eh, maybe just one. <laughs> Probably felt good. No, no. I bet he wouldn't do that. I mean, they might have poisoned it or something. Bathe and be clean when you're free, man. Let's get out of... God. Those things. Okay. Okay. Alex created them. All of them. I mean, I had been assuming that literally this entire time, but you know. Okay. These two are both lower, uh, uh, left shin. The ones in the back are head, head, right thigh. How do they even stitch the heads that closely together? They must be in agony all the time. Uh, particularly that one. I wonder if it's one of those puzzles where it's like, in order to, you know, 
complete this area, you need to remove the power core from this machine. Which is keeping those guys in stasis. Oh, you grab the smoke powder then, I don't know. Actually, didn't we see a bottle earlier? When I looked up the glasps, I don't remember why I looked them up. Uh, there was a... There's a basic strategy there that never even occurred to me when I had been Claire, which was that, uh... You throw the smoke screen uh, bottles at them. I think I might have tried that once, but it didn't, you know... Outline it for very long? I don't know. Apparently you can even knife finisher them if you, uh... Get them in the smoke, though. Can't imagine ever wanting to stand that close to one of them. Fuck. Wrong bathroom. Come on, how are there no sparkles in the toilet? That's inherently funny. There's nothing. No, like, suicide note. No, oh no, we've all been betrayed letter that, you know, we really didn't need. But added flavor. Hmm. Okay. Well, fuck the bottle, then. We can just keep going. I wish I had a map. It would be weird if a map existed for this area, admittedly. It was not a plate at all. It was just a dark spot. I'd be really unhappy if they were all in different positions. Huh. That's weird. Two arms, two legs. It doesn't even have any blades sticking out of it. What even is the point of, like, reanimating these things? Did she just want to see if she could bring a creature made of chopped up body parts to life? Did she literally want to be Frankenstein? How do you read Frankenstein and walk away from that thinking the doctor was the good guy? Just out of curiosity, it's the head. It's a... Oh. Oh god. Do I go back and finish them all off? I mean, I wouldn't want to stay in limbo forever. You hold on to that one. Oh, I don't know if it's a good idea, but I really want to go back there and kill all those guys. Report on the Ouroboros virus. <laughs> Sorry about that. Number one, the Ouroboros virus takes root in organic material. If injected into a corpse, it will create a core and then reorganizes 
organic material around that core, thereby reanimating the corpse. I don't think that's true at all. That's not what happened in in the uh, first game. It just converted a guy's entire body into, like, ropes of uh, slimy tendrils. With, like, some bits of bone and meat floating around in there. It was a really unpleasant-looking boss. Um... Number two, the core serves as the control center of the organic growth. Destroying the core will negate the reanimation process. Three, it is ability to propagate in organic matter is extremely high. Were a sample ever breached the confines of this facility, this island would be turned into a graveyard. Security measures must be informed, uh, enforced to the highest degree. Figures she would have gotten her hands on Uroboros too. Seriously, though, where the fuck is the bee? Okay, there's no glass bin there. That would be funny, though. Underground Research Facility Map. And once again, I think it's the same map of the uh, detention center from the very beginning. Christ. Although the timer has gone, so... Uh, whether or not I go back to take out those guys, we'll have to wait for next time. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. Later!